I have here a more complex scenario, sim very similar queries, uh, but the scenario is in this case federating across three different systems. Okay, I have a, a, an offload of my historical sales to um, Data Lake. I have some uh, application data in Aurora, like in my case, uh, the, the list of stores, and I have the core of my data warehouse with the, the time to market sales and the data dimension in Redshift. So I'm, in this case, uh, having a much more complex uh, diagram. Uh, to give you an idea, here you can see the actual tree uh, where you see the the, the definition of that in a more graphical manner. So I'm gonna do a very similar uh, exercise. Let me uh, clear this and paste this query. I'm gonna run it first again with the, this uh, context here so you can see the execution without optimizations. So uh, this will take a little while as well, uh, I think 15, 20 seconds. So bear with me while the steamer uh, goes on there in the bottom. Obviously, it's uh, federating more, going to more sources, dealing with more data. This query, it's uh, taking a little longer. So it will be around the 20 seconds. There we go. I got my results. Let me check the execution trace. So it took, let's see, 19.6 seconds. This is the query without acceleration. You can see here in the diagram how it's going to one, two, three, four different branches. So this is um, Redshift, that one is MySQL, that's Aurora, this is Impala. So you see the different branches going to three different, four different, well, yeah, four different data sources here to calculate the results for this query. It took around 20 seconds. Let's see what happens if I remove this guy over here. I go there and my query comes almost immediately. Again, I'm not uh, caching the final results. This is still doing some processing. In fact, this query is going to two different data sources. Uh, this branch here is going to Aurora. This branch on the left is going to Redshift. Redshift is where I have stored my summary. And if I, you look at the query here, you see that it's not just the summary, it's uh, getting the summary join with uh, my day dimension that it's in, in Redshift as well, then brings the other branch that goes to Aurora, puts that together, stitches the results together, and uh, outputs the results. All of that, you can see here, uh, applies different uh, optimization techniques to be able to do that so quickly, and returns their results in half a second. So now I had a query that dealt with, I don't know, three or 400 million rows in three different systems and for which I have sub-second response. Even doing federation, that uh, was fast enough to come up in half a second. Uh, again, similar as I did before, I can run a variety of queries on this uh, scenario and the results are the same. Again, I'm doing like a, with the historical data similar to the multi-source that I'm using here, but just getting the details for the store in Riverside. Um, uh, this will actually uh, use the same summary than the previous query. We'll do different operations in that summary, but the results, you see again, this is I'm federating the final results and I'm getting here the branch from Redshift where the summary is, you see there like the, the, the operations, the join, et cetera. Then I'm doing the join with the stores, filtering by Riverside, et cetera and get the final results, in this case, again, in half a second. 